Hey everybody, welcome to Black Phoenix Entertainment. Let's talk about commuting on your Can-Am Spider. I'm going to have to say I commute every single day that I can. It's over 40 degrees and that it's not raining. So that's actually quite a bit here. And uh, today it's a mid, four, mid to high 40s, not too bad, a little bit of a breeze. Sunny out, no rain, so I'm going to ride. And uh, first thing you guys have been watching my channel, you know I have an RS. I've got no storage in the back, no saddlebags or anything. For my work, all I really need is a backpack and I can just toss the backpack in the front so I don't have to wear it and you know have that extra weight on my back. That is probably the first consideration is what do you do for work and what do you need to bring to work. If you've got to bring a lot of stuff to work, uh, suitcases, bags, stuff like that, uh, you're probably not going to be commuting. Um, anyways, let's get riding and talk about some more. Alrighty, so now that we're on the road, let's talk about that. So, let's say you wear some sort of uniform or suit and tie or something at work. You've got to bring in briefcases, things like that. Depending on what you ride, type of spider, maybe you have some saddlebags, maybe you have the Touring, maybe you've got the F3 Limited, or something like that. Maybe you have the space for that, and that's cool. Again, now, depending on what you wear, uh, most guys probably don't want to be wearing a suit and tie as they're riding. Maybe you do. That's up to you. But um, maybe you have the ability to change at work, maybe you don't. Those are some consider some considerations. Holy crap, it's too early. Considerations that you've got to keep in mind where like, do I want to commute on my spider every day? Now for me personally, I'm lucky because I work in a somewhat business casual type environment where I can just wear jeans, I wear my riding boots, I have a pair of sneakers that I leave in my office that I change into when I get there so it's a little bit more comfortable to walk around in. Um, I usually, like I said, I don't usually have to bring all that much. I can keep my, um, everything most days, now that I'm thinking about it, I can just keep everything in a backpack, my lunch, and random little things that I might have to bring to work every now and then. Um, there are one day a month where I have to bring a briefcase, and um, that day I just drive. It's not worth trying to... <laughs> one day a month is not worth trying to finagle getting a suitcase onto an RS, so... Not a suitcase. Uh, briefcase. Oh my god, suitcase. Wow. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's that early in the morning. Uh, you'll have to excuse me for that. So... That's me. Um, the other thing, uh, like I said, is distance and weather are probably the other two major considerations you've got to think about. Again, for me, it's only about 10 miles both ways. Two ways I can go. I can go. Mostly I can commute through the city, which isn't all that bad, or I can just take the highway, which really gets me to work in less than 10 minutes. I don't take the highway on the Spider most days unless I have to get there quickly for whatever reason, uh, just because I want to enjoy the ride. And I do the same thing on the way home. I just take back back roads pretty much every day on the way home. No need to no need to rush home from work when you're riding. Uh, other thing is weather. Uh, because my commute is so short, unless it's absolutely downpouring and like a huge threat of rain, I'll just ride anyways. I have been caught out by some random storms that obviously I haven't paid attention to or didn't do a great job looking at the weather. Um, other days I just put up with it. I'm like. Alright, or maybe I stay late. That's another thing. I happen to stay like an hour, hour and a half later than I thought I would or something like that, and then you get caught out. That's something you got to think about too. And again, with the length of my commute, it doesn't bother me because if I'm on my way home, alright, I got to drive 10 miles and now I'm home. You know, just clean myself up after that. If you've got a much longer commute and you happen to stay late and get caught out in a storm, uh, the spiders are decent in the rain. They're not bad, but it's more of just the elements. You know, if it's a little bit colder, if it's a cold rain, if it's absolutely downpouring visibility, that's something you want to think about. All right, so let's get into the big question. The Spider itself, no matter what model you have, RS, F3, RT, is the machine itself a good daily commuter to work? My short and long answers are yes, uh, for multiple reasons. Biggest reason, you are not holding up a 700 pound machine. It is on three wheels, it's holding itself up. If you have a long day at work, you don't have to go out to the parking lot and be like, ah, oh, man, I gotta hold, go hold up this giant gold wing on the way home after working, you know, 10 or 12 hours. No, you sit on this thing and you go. Not to say that it, there's not any sort of physical um, exertion. We're riding this, yeah, you still have to hold yourself on here. You still gotta move the bars and things like that. It's not nearly as much. So, that to me is a huge positive with the Spider. So, I think this is where some of the positives of the Spider really shine, I personally think, is commuting. 
because you got the stability of the three wheels. You don't have to hold it up after a long day. The weather, it is, you don't have to, like I said before, you don't have to really worry about rain. As long as you've got decent tires on this thing and you take it easy with the throttle, you're gonna make it through. The only thing that's gonna suck is the elements. You know, as long as you've got rain gear and if it's a little bit, you know, colder or cold rain or something like that, you know, you've got some, some layers on, you're good to go to get, to get your way home. And obviously, if you know it's raining, you're probably not going to commute to work in the rain. Unless you're crazy like me, I've actually done that before. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, you're probably thinking, hey, why would you actually commute to work in rain? Because I go, go to work early, probably I'm usually at work before 8 o'clock in the morning. And I've seen that the rain stops at 10 a.m. And after like noon time, it's going to be like 60, 70 degrees out. I'm like, I'll take that 10 mile ride in the rain so I can ride after work. That makes sense to me. I don't know if that anyone else would make that sort of sacrifice, but I do because I am crazy. No, I just do it because I like riding. All right, so let's recap what we talked about. Weather, uh, clothing, riding gear, stuff like that. Can you change your work? Weather, and of course, miles of the commute. That's something I wanna talk about. Putting miles on your bike or your, or your spider. Like I said, 20 miles a day for me, that's like 100 miles a week if I ride every single day. Not all that much. Depending on your commute and how long it is, you may not want to put that many miles on your spider, and that's fine. I don't know what this guy is doing. Me personally, I think the spiders were built for this. They were built for long distances, long riding and putting miles on. I would not be concerned at all with putting uh, a lot of miles on your spider every single year, especially if you've got the newer 1330 three-cylinder motor. Man, back up the miles on those things. That doesn't matter. I've got the older 998. It needs a little bit more love, a little bit more maintenance. You just got to keep up with it. As long as you're willing to do that, hell, ride these things every single day. So here is an example. Now that I'm getting further north into the city, I've noticed that the wind's picked up. I'd probably say, I mean, we live on the coast here. We constantly get like 15 to 20 mile an hour winds all the time. It's pretty standard now. And like I said, it was in the mid 40s, high, high 40s. Later on, it's going to get into the mid 50s. But right now, with that wind chill, it is a little cold. If my commute was a little longer than it was, on days like this, I would probably be like, all right, do I really want to ride today? Or do I just want to kind of bundle up a little bit more and just go through the commute so I can ride later in the day? Which is normally what I do. I'm usually just suffer in the morning and be like, all right, I'm going to be able to ride in nicer weather when I get out of work. All right, Flock, we're at the end of the video. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you commute on your motorcycle or your spider and how often you commute during the week. Is it every single day? Is it once a, once a week? Something like that. And we're at the end of the video. I got to talk about some cool stuff. Go down in my description. Look down at my Lunified um, discount code. Check out their website. There is an awesome stuff down there. I can tell you their shirts are amazing. There's always a uh, package for everybody there. Go on, check that out. Check out my other cool stuff in my description. And we are at the end of the video, which means I must bid you adieu. So goodbye and good night.